Hi, let us learn how to create an Instagram style photo slider effect in PowerPoint. The effect goes like this. On a click, a hand comes and swipes the photo across. You can notice that the image we have in the center is available as a background image with 50% blurred effect. On a click, you can see that that image changes and we have a new image inserted. And then this image is swiped across and a new image is brought in. It's a captivating way to show multiple photos to your friends or colleagues. If you're a business, then you can make this into a video and showcase multiple photo pack shots of your product. Let us learn how to create this useful Instagram style photo slider effect from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to insert the picture onto the slide. In one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to bulk crop image to one particular resolution or dimension. I will leave a link to that video here in the iCard. Now I'm going to just pick up one of those images by copying here and then by pasting it onto my slide here. Now the benefit of having multiple images of the same dimension is you would be able to have a consistent look and feel for this effect. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and to the duplicate I'm going to apply a blurred effect. So you select the photo, go to picture format, go to artistic effects and choose this one called as blur which is in the second row to the right and you can see that we have a blurred image. If you feel that you need to increase the blurred effect even more you can right click go to format picture and go to artistic effects and then change the radius from 10 to 50 and you can see that the blur is really dramatic. You then right click on this and cut this and then right click on the empty slide area and then go to format background and then choose picture or texture fill, go to picture source and click on clipboard. Since you had already cut this image, you would be able to have that recalled from clipboard. Then let us select this original image. Then let us define our dimensions. In this case, I want it to have say 12.5 inches of height. So this is just the ideal size I want. Then let us go to picture styles and choose the second one here called as beveled mat. And then let us place this right in the center by going to align center and align middle. We'll find these options here in the align option in the arrange group in picture format. You can find this type of images from your favorite free stock photo sites. The next step is to make this hand come in. So let us go to animations and give it a simple float in animation. So the hand comes in and this needs to be with previous. Now all that we need to do for this slide is already done. Let us create the second slide. Let us go to new slide. Once again, let us pick up one of the images that we had cropped. Right click copy and then let us go here and paste it and do exactly the same steps. Make a duplicate, go to picture format and choose artistic effects and blur. If you want, you can increase the radius of the blur to 50%. Right click cut, right click on the empty area and go to format background, go to picture or texture fill from clipboard. Then this one needs to be resized by going to picture format and you can go to height and say 12.5 centimeters. Then go to picture styles and choose the second one and then make it align center and align middle so it is placed right in the center. And then let us have the same image with animation copied and then let us place this onto the second page as well. Then you need to repeat the same process for the rest of the slides as well. And to save you some time, I've created this third slide as well. Now is the time for us to add the slide transition to bring all this to life. Let us select all of the slides by pressing Ctrl A, then go to transitions, and then in the transition options, go to this one here, the last one called as dynamic content and say pan. This is a very important step. Don't use the push option or the wipe option that you see under the subtle option here. You need to choose dynamic content to get the kind of effect that I'm about to show you. So go to pan and then say effect options from right. So we have the hand swiping things across. Now let us go to the first slide, go to slideshow and see the magic unfold. Can you see it's a beautiful effect 
Once I am done showing this, then I can click and it is almost like the background has stayed still. Only that the image is more relevant to the photo that we are showcasing. And then on a click, the hand swipes the photo across and this is the result. A while back, I created this photo album effect that allows you to showcase different photos in a very dramatic fashion like this, complete with a moving background with video and also music. I will leave a link to this in the description box below the video and I'll also queue up at the end of this video so you can enjoy that video next. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link. Join the course and I will see you inside.